The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who, who made, made heaven, heaven and, and earth. So we take a moment just to reflect on the day now past, on all that it's been and for the things on our hearts and for the things we perhaps could have done better. And as we do, we say together, Most merciful God, we, we confess, confess to you before the whole company of heaven, of heaven and one, one another, another that, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O, o Lord, Lord, make haste, haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 104 Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons. And the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night, in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they are gone to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work and to their labour until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that leviathan which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it them, they gather it, you open your hand, and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure for ever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Psalm 134 Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands toward the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth give you blessing out of Zion. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father and, and to the, the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Jeremiah 14, verse 9 You, O Lord, are in the midst of us, 
and we are called by your name. Leave us not, O Lord our God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into, Into your, your hands, hands, O Lord, Lord I, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, us, O Lord, Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory, glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. Save us, O Lord, Lord, while waking, and, and guard us while sleeping, sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, Christ and asleep, asleep may rest in peace. And so we bring before the Lord our prayers for this day, our thanks, the things on our hearts and minds, the people, the places. Father, we come before you with all that this day has been, with the challenges, the blessings, the opportunities, and Father, the time to enjoy the weather those we know and love, and to lift their needs to you. So, Father, we bring before you the people on our hearts this day. We bring to you their needs, their struggles, their pain and frustrations. And Lord, we lay them before you now, asking that you would be God in their lives. Lord, in your mercy, yeah, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And Father, as we reflect back upon the day, we remember your word this morning. As Elijah recognised you in the still small whisper, Lord, may our ears be attuned to your voice, that we may hear you when you whisper quietly and call us to follow you. Lord, may we always be watching and waiting for the return of the Christ mm. and may we recognize him when he comes again so father as we prepare to go to our beds we just pray that we would remain even in our sleep attentive to you that you would visit us in our dreams, make yourself known, that when we wake we may go out and make you known mm. to those we meet and those we love. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer.
Father, we pray for the places where we're rising, the virus is being noted, for the places where behaviour and attitudes are leading to people being placed at risk. And Father, as some get angry and complain that the government don't know what they're doing, Father, we pray for the people who refuse to wear masks, who refuse to act responsibly, who say that it's all a con. And yet, Lord, every day we lose people from this nation of ours. Every day we're losing loved ones, friends, family, neighbours. Lord, as people try to predict and people come up with their quack remedies, the confusion only seeks to cause pain and fear. So, Father, we pray for, for your peace. We pray for your presence, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, yeah, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And Lord, as over the weekend thousands have flocked to the beaches, with people driving six and a half hours to go to the Dorset coast to visit the beach, only to be told when they got there that the roads were closed, the beaches were full, and they had to turn around and come home why they were traveling that distance father i don't understand lord we need a, an outpouring of common sense that people would realize that we are still in a pandemic we still need to stay close to home we can enjoy local beauty spots walk around lakes, by rivers, by canals, go to the park, have a picnic in the back garden, do all sorts of things. But driving hours on in to go to a crowded beach just doesn't make sense. So Lord, we pray that the message would continue to be told, would continue to be underlined mm. and would somehow get through. But this is not a summer like any other summer. And what we do in this summer will have repercussions when we get to the winter. And the conditions for the virus to reproduce. The optimum condition is 5 degrees C. So when we get down to 5 degrees C, this virus is going to start reproducing mm. like nothing. And all those people who have been carrying it in their bodies, even though it, they have been asymptomatic or perhaps had mild symptoms, are going to start reproducing that virus. It's going to reactivate. And they are going to be contagious, whether they have worse symptoms or not. So, Lord, we need to take this seriously for the sake of the vulnerable, for the sake of not just saving granny and not killing granny, as people in Preston have been told, but for each and every neighbour who may have conditions that we know nothing about. For each and every child who may be the one exception to the rule. For those we love and for those we don't even know who we may come into contact with. And through our selfishness we may rob them of their life. It really is that serious. Father, 
open our ears, open our minds, open the voices of our politicians mm. to make the right statements and to live themselves with integrity, to show by their example what the rest of us should be doing. Yes. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the witness and the work of the church. As a new week appears on the horizon, we pray for the opportunities we may have to make the Christ known in all that we are, all that we do, in the people we are and the message we bring. And Father, unless we go, who will tell them? Unless we hear your voice and answer your call, unless our churches send us, how will our communities be saved? So, Father, we pray for the communities where we are, for our communities, our neighbours, our friends, our families, that we would show them your love made flesh in us before them that we might revel in the joy of the resurrection the hope made real for us through the death and resurrection of christ by the indwelling and power of your holy spirit we might shine your light into the darkest recesses of the lives of those around us Father, this week may we bring your love into the places we have found. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, who sent your Holy Spirit to be the life and light of your church, open our hearts to the riches of your grace, that we may bring forth the fruit of the Spirit in love and joy and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And so let us pray as our Saviour has taught us. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed be your name. name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the, For the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for being with us this night. Sleep well. May you wake refreshed, blessed, and may tomorrow be a blessing. Take care, guys. Good night. Sleep well. Bye. Bye.